Hi, I'm Tim Roble, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. So I'm going to do some updates on the Humvee Overland Project. Um, I'm back working on it. I just got back from Salton Sea uh, doing a, a little expedition for paramotor flying. I ended up not being super successful in my efforts, although I came a long way. So uh, Newport Dunes coming up in uh, August and uh, September and then October I'll be back out at Salton Sea. So I basically have uh, June 2nd to uh, August 1st to kind of get to where I need to be on this. The um, GMC Canyon Adventure Truck is currently up for sale. 90k if anybody's interested. Um, be entertaining some trades uh, plus cash. See what goes on with that. But uh, this right now is the top priority. That and staying in shape. Um, I turned 55 on Sunday, um, so I already knocked out my 55-mile bicycle ride, and uh, that felt good. I did that fat adaptive and intermittent fasted, so I did 20-hour 20, uh, 20 fast, but before that, I went and did this ride just to see how a fat adaptive athlete actually um, does, and I'm so impressed with four hours and eight minutes to do the 55 miles, and uh I did stop and talk to a couple people, but other than that, I was uh, pretty much hammered down the whole time. Super impressed with uh, how well I feel right now. I'm, I'm blessed uh, to be that way right now. Anyway, uh, the Humvee project may not look like it's went a whole long ways, but uh, since this last video, I have cut this back section off and re-welded it on. And why did I do that? Um, I noticed that the body, uh, after I had things fully welded on that, I noticed that the body was not sitting uh, correctly on the body mounts. I had done some well, some primary measurements, and uh, I felt like I was within about an eighth of an inch, which would have been fine for me. Um, but I had some rear sag going on here. The jack must have bled down as I had tacked some stuff, and um, I welded it out. So everything had to be cut off and welded back on, and now it's on square. All the doors are aligned. Um, I got everything ready to go and moving forward. So we can kind of see the uprights here, what I got going on there. Um, super happy with how this is going to look. Uh, for those of you who are the first time in on this, um, I do always do two spares. Uh, one is none, and two is one but I also mount them on a spindle. This is the lowest part of the departure angle, so that'll work as a giant caster. Uh, also in the back here, I, I set it up where I can do three uh, trailer hitches uh, in case I ever wanna put a bike off the back, but this is gonna have a ramp that folds down. And then the top is gonna um, move up 24 inches on linear uh, electric actuators. And I think I have some back here. right there 24 inch travel i'm going to do four of them right now is the plan to move the top up uh this will have starlink a 40 inch tv in it um 20 gallons of fresh water with a water purification system same thing that's in oscar mike by the way oscar mike is um that's my expedition truck if people aren't familiar with that it's a uh fmtv uh, it was a five ton wrecker i met one year that i've uh been operational and I'm still doing little changes and tweaks and I got a great video going to come up on that for my one year review so stay tuned to that um, but moving through life if you've noticed um, in the shop um, I got a new CNC plasma table um, I got that to cut a couple parts out I'm done with those and I'll probably have that back up for sale I know that sounds crazy but um, after you go live a life uh, out on the road, like my month out at uh, Salton Sea was simply amazing. Um, another thing that I've added to the, uh, I ordered this, I think on Black Friday, but it's the uh, Everlast Typhoon 230. It's a new class in welders. So it's got a uh, AC and DC, it's a TIG welder, and it's it's got pulse on DC and not just a pulse that you can set the uh, the ranges, but it's got a, uh, a square wave, it's got a uh, triangle wave, uh, advanced square, and a trapezoid on it, all on DC. Um, so I've been playing with that a little bit. Um, 
really like the welder. Um, it's neat to have a TIG again. So um, for the process, I'll probably keep uh, most of the shop as we see it right now. Everything I can do on this little mill lathe combo. Um, probably the only thing in the shop that's going to go is going to be the CNC plasma. I don't necessarily have to do that, but I got to be honest. Uh, once you get out, my mind right now is finishing this Humvee correctly. Um, not to rush the process, but not to sit in the process either. It's like make your time and your energy count. So, um, 10, 12 hour days coming ahead. Sunday's my birthday. I plan on uh, working my birthday on the Humvee. Um, what a, what better thing could you, uh, cooler thing could you do than uh, build something that you love to do? I want to get through this process so I can be free to come back and change things out. Um, the rally bike, the 701 Adventure Rally is done. Um, 450, I'm not sure if I'm keeping that or not. I'm trying to get down to a process of just whatever fits in Oscar Mike. And what I'll actually use. So I am doing some more motorcycle riding. I try to get out a couple times a week now again. Um, but this Humvee project, um, Mr. All Over the Place, but this Humvee project is, is super important for me uh, to get through and make operational as a daily driver and get rid of the GMC Canyon. Um, that's been a wonderful truck. I'm basically doing the same exact floor plan in this it's just going to be a lot little larger format uh and i think it'll be a little bit more functional off-road i'm doing arb front and rear lockers in this um so i'll have air lockers front and rear um it already has onboard air uh with arb 24 volt system for the humvee um i got new seats in here ready to go i got new harnesses ready to go um I think we've talked about this on another video, but uh, down here I got the rock rails ready to go. These are all 250 wall. And um, I'm hoping by Sunday I'll have all of that fabbed out. And I've already started cutting the first pieces for the cage to go upright. I got some trimming to do inside to make some room for some things. Um, but yeah, I'm pressing, pressing ahead uh, full steam right now on this. And I've had a couple of you guys uh, reach out. Uh, Joel, thank you for reaching out. I always appreciate uh, hearing from you. Um, as well as all the rest of you guys. I really feel like I've gained a, uh, a friendship through, through my uh, small YouTube channel. Um, while I'm thinking about that, uh, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Something you want to know more about. You want to know more about the Typhoon 230. I think I'm going to do a string of videos on TIG welding on that. Um, and just for fun, I TIG welded uh, these little brackets right here. Just a, ni a nice clean joint, something I didn't have to sand. And I got that done. But uh, yeah, if there's something you'd like to see, um, let me know. Um, I, I'd be glad to show it. Um, I know I have been asked to do uh, like a slow motion video of my progress daily. I can't do it. I, I just it just slows my whole workflow down, and I uh, I work on a very uh, ADD level. Um, I might be over here working this, and the next thing you know, I'm doing a rock slider, and next thing you know, I'm cutting upright for um, everything. Um, at the end of the day, after you put in ten hours, it seems like those five projects come together, and I've I accomplished everything on my list. I have a task this task that I, I do every day. I kind of keep things in order, uh, but I come out and feel free, full of coffee. Um, once again, intermittent fasting. Uh, my first meal will be about two o'clock. So until two o'clock, I'm running off of uh, my ketones and my fat. And man, I've never felt better. Um, I've never had more energy, I think, in a long time. Um, really, I really feel good about getting this done and living this adventure lifestyle that I wanted to do. And uh, this will be my last project. I, uh, I hope I never change my mind. I really don't want to do something big as a build, but this is something that was uh, near and true to me that I wanted to get done um, in a, in a four wheel drive format that I could really actually use it as a four wheel drive, do some, some trails to continue on. Oscar Mike, that's adventure base. That's set up to go off road and for me to stage from with my solar to charge my uh, 
electric motorcycle, bicycle, my electric paramotor, like it's set up to be the base. Um, this is more set up to be adventurous and to go off and do trails and continue on, as well as gonna be a daily driver um, to replace the, uh, the GMC Canyon that I actually love so much. So uh, questions and comments on this. Um, if there's something that you guys would like to uh, see more of, please hit me up. Um, I'll be fabbing up a front end. As you can tell, I'm kind of building a ship in a bottle here. So at some point in time, this is going to have to go out in the uh, parkway where I uh, built, the breezeway where I built uh, Oscar Mike and get finished up. So I want to get as much done as I can back here in this nice, comfortable uh, environment. Uh, the weather we're having right now is super perfect for this type of uh, fabrication. Um I don't know. I think that's about it uh, just for updates. I know I, I've been all over the place, but uh, Humvee is, is in full uh, spool up right now. And i uh, probably do a video again for you guys on Monday uh, to see where we've gotten. And hopefully rock rails are on and I'm starting to go up on cage. I'd like to get all this back framed out. And I, I think that actually should go pretty fast. So stay tuned. That's going to be it for now. I'm going to ask you guys, please like and subscribe if you haven't before. Uh, if you could just leave me a comment and say, hey, nice job, or I'd like to see this. I would love that. That helps the algorithm. I would like to build this channel. Um, I'd like to bring you guys better quality content. So if something you need, let me know. That's going to be it for now. I'm Tim Roble. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.